Hi everybody, i um, got another project for you. Um, I did this a couple of weeks ago but I've um, only just been able to upload a video. Um, I'm still a bit sniffly, sniff, sniffly so you, if you can bear with me. Um, I altered some letters um, live, or live, live, live. Um, I wanted a kind of a, th a fairy theme, um, love how it turned out to be honest, I love the colours and everything, um, love the texture on everything, I'm just, I am really pleased with how it turned out, I didn't expect it to turn out the way it did to be honest, um, so these are the letters, what I'll do is I'll, I'll go through them separately and let you know what I did so if I'm just move these ones out of the way and this is the L and um, I started off with I have brought some I can't really explain what it's like to be honest it's um it's like a hessian but in white excuse me, um, but in white, and it, it absolutely gives really gorgeous texture, um, I found it in um, a pound shop, and as you can see, if I just lift this up, let's see if I can focus, as you can see here, it it gives absolutely gorgeous texture, um, and down here as well, and I use lots of flowers out of my stash, these are I Am Roses flowers and Wild Orchid Craft flowers, and lots of little ones as well in between. There's a leaf, velvet leaf here, a little butterfly charm on here, a wooden um, flower there that I got from Hobbycraft, one of my Paper Mania clocks, this is... Um, a dusty attics chipboard embellishment. Um, here, this is a Prima spray um, just up here, and then um, a Making Memories butterfly with a dusty attics um, little latch just on the corner here. Um, this is one of the um, bracelets that I took apart that I got from Primark. I also have some of the texture on the side here um, and what I did there's some oh there's some lace going down the side here as well if you can see that what I did is I kind of textured it all um, gessoed the whole lot and then um, I used a mixture of sprays on it as well I don't know if you can see if you can see the shimmer on it I hope you can um, the sprays that I used was, I used my um, olive olive green um, glimmer mist. I also used my two trusty pinks as well, um, which I love to use. I also used, um, if I can find it, my glimmer mist latte. I love this colour. And I also used, um, I believe it was Apple, it was, no, Hula Hoop, sorry. I used Hula Hoop um, just to sort of like help with the greens as well. And I also have, um, my. I used a bit of my green as well just to sort of, right at the top here as you can see, it's a bit sort of like, this is a bit of a jady green um, with a blue glimmer inside of it so they're the, the glimmer mist that I used um, I started off with a pink down the bottom and sprayed one colour and I'd, I was actually drying it with my heat tool as I went along and then sort of graduated up the colours um, I'm really really pleased uh, with how the colours came out I hope the colours are coming out well on the video I really do because it did I'm, I'm really really pleased with it um, I've done it all over I put some more lace down the side here as well so yeah I'm really really pleased with it I really am there's also a doily if you can just just see that let me just make sure it's focused there's a doily in the background here as well so that's that's the L on the I if I just leave it down here so you can have a better view on the eye, um, I've got the Tim Holtz weather clock, weathered clock um, just stuck in the background. Um, I did exactly the same 
um, I didn't use so much texture as I did on the L, but I did use my um, Prima stencil, which is this one. Um, can't remember which one it is, to be honest. Bear with me just one moment. I'll have a look. It doesn't say. It doesn't say, but there's the there's the item number just there. It's one of the masks, the Prima masks. <coughs> Excuse me. I believe the paper I used was. Prima's Divine, Prima's Divine paper, um, which I, abs I absolutely love this paper, it's gorgeous. Um, if I can find, I... that's the image, the car, um, I hope I'm not off, there you are. I'm so, so sorry, I can't see because it's quite bright in my craft room so I can't actually see. Um, the camera screen, but I cut it. I fussy cut it out the um, car and glossy accented, um, not glossy accented, mod podged over the top. Um, put two clock hands in the middle as well. Again, use lots of pay, um, flowers on the bottom. If I just lift that up so you can see. Use lots of flowers on the bottom, gessoed over the top, but not as much as the first one. Um, and again, another Prima spray in the background. There's an Ingvalid Boom um, resin piece there. And also at the top here, a light bulb that says love with um, a World Rocky Crafts rose on it. And um, I did exactly the same. All the texture comes around the side here as well and underneath. And I really love how this one turned out. Um, on the clock, I used um, Leanne from Lovely Scrapping. Um, her te her technique on making it look um, old and weathered. I absolutely love it. Where you just apply lots and lots of acrylic paint, keep drying, um, and keep the heat all on it so that it bubbles. Then go over it again, and depending on how much texture you want, and just keep going over it and over it. Um, definitely go and check out Leanne. She's absolutely amazing. She's having a baby at the moment, so she hasn't got so many videos up, but she has an awesome playlist. So go and check her out definitely. Um, and that, that's about what I've done on, on the I. And the V I left pretty plain um, because I didn't want it to be, I didn't want all the letters to be too busy. Um, so this one I literally I gessoed over again and then I used the, the sprays. You can kind of see the graduation a little bit more better on this one because um, I haven't actually put any texture or anything on it. I did use um, one of the flowers on the bottom that I got from the range and a Prima flower underneath. Um, this is another Prima spray as well, um, a butterfly out of my stash and um, again another fussy cut piece out of the Divine Collection by Prima and um, another resin piece as well. I absolutely adore these frames, I love them so much. So um, that's basically what I did with the V. And on to the last piece, um, this one I did do some texture on, um, this one I used the um, chicken wire mask stencil um, and just sort of like went over it, did it on the top as well. And I love the texture because when you put your glimmer sprays on it, it sort of, it, if you can see that, it picks out all all the colour sort of like makes the colour and gives it definition, it's, it's really gorgeous. Um, and I don't know if you noticed as well, I know I keep saying it, but also around the edges of all my letters I brushed with my finger with gesso. I just think it just makes everything pop out really lovely. So there's a couple of roses on the top here, there's a charm that I made with, um, that's a Prima piece and there's a little birdhouse and a flower and um, some of the little bits that I've got on it as well. I just thought that was really pretty. Um, so I'll put that on the edge so it hangs down the side. Here's one of the sprays that I got from Carla, Carla's store. 
and there's another one down here as well. Um, there's a prima flower in here, some cherry blossoms from I Am Roses. These roses here, um, they're like Hessian roses. They're, they're really, really pretty roses. I got them from Hobbycraft. There's some more elements cut out of the design paper here. Um, another resin piece. This is, I'm pretty sure this is a Cherry Lane flourish, um, which again I did um, Leanne's technique on. Love Leanne's technique. Again, the Tim Holtz weathered clock were in the background as well. Some more texture down here. And um, this one was a little bit harder to spray, some more texture in there um, because of all the gaps and stuff. But um, I love the way that this has taken the colours as well down the side. It's, it's It just looks amazing. So, yeah, these are my altered letters. Um, I hope you like them. I had loads and loads of fun making them, loads of fun making them. Um, if you've got any questions, please leave a comment or PM me. I'll be glad to help. So thank you, everybody, for watching, and happy 4th of July. Thank you, everybody. Take care. Bye.